this example we have the steel shafts are connected together using a fillet weld as shown. Determine the average shear stress in the weld along section AA if the torque applied to the shaft is 60 newton meters. Note the critical section where the weld fails is along section AA. So here we have this shaft being welded on using the fillet weld here and you can see the dimensions given right we have the height of it as well as the width being 12 millimeters we have the diameter of the shaft that's being welded onto the plate being 50 millimeters now here's a, a side profile view of that shaft and the weld here we see section AA is the critical point in which the weld weld could fail due to the shear stress and of course we have the dimensions again 12 millimeters is the length and the height of that fillet weld being 12 millimeters so now going back to that average shear stress equation which is the torque divided by 2 the mean cross-sectional area and the thickness um, now the question here is wait a minute why are we applying this average shear stress to this problem to a weld a fillet weld in this case um, and not a thin um, wad shaft in this case we have a solid shaft being welded on but how does this apply to the weld itself well you can actually just imagine the weld being a thin wad shaft itself it's basically combining these two parts into one and you have a torsion which will basically be applied along that weld here if you can imagine the inner diameter and then the outer diameter of that shaft being kind of like acting as if it was a a thin wad shaft holding things together here now looking at it from the top view here we have that solid shaft and we have this fillet well with the appropriate dimensions here is 12 millimeters so we can actually apply this equation to the fillet weld and we have the average mean or the mean cross-sectional area here so the mean area is pi r squared in this case the radius is 31 millimeters which gives us a mean cross-sectional area of and it gives us 0 0.003019071 meters squared. We know what the torque being applied is, 60 newton meters mean area. Now all we need is the thickness. Now in this case, since the problem statement hints that the critical section along where that fillet weld um, fails is along section AA. So this portion here this would be the thickness that we're going to be using. So we have the angles here and we have the appropriate dimension. So we just need to solve for this and which is nothing more than trig, right? So the thickness is equal to, so it's 0 0.012 meters times cosine 45 to solve for the thickness. Just um, think about using cosine, which is adjacent or T over the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse would be the 12 here which gives us the thickness of this. And now let's go ahead and plug in all this information into the average shear stress equation. Average shear stress um, for that fillet weld is 1.17 megapascals. And so this is how you use that average shear stress equation with the mean cross-sectional area and the thickness of that fillet weld to solve for the average shear stress on that weld due to due to the torque being applied on the shaft. And so it definitely could be very useful as you can see here, this is a practical application when it comes to welds.